Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'll be using these blue and black sharp-edged acrylic dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get started with our roll for bread. One, banana bread. Ooh. Banana bread. Do, 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 do. Banana bread. Do, 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 do. Banana bread. Do, I don't do, know about do, this. Do, 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 I don't know about this one. Next up, let's roll for our main. 10, chicken. While this oven roasted okay. chicken breast is pretty mild flavor wise. We're okay so far. Good. If we have any hopes of pairing with this banana bread, we're gonna want something that's not super assertive flavor wise. We're doing okay. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Six, Butekeza. This is Ooh. a mild and buttery German cheese. Though this particular one was made in Wisconsin. Its name literally translates to butter cheese. Okay, it's nice and creamy with a very delicate flavor, which again, I think is good if we're trying to pair it with banana bread. It may be a strange one so far, but so far I think our flavors are doing okay. It's good that we have buttery German cheese. are doing okay. It's good that we have a milder main and a milder cheese. Let's hope our luck continues. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Two radish and 11 none. I honestly couldn't tell you what the best possible scenario would have been roughage wise, maybe sugar snap peas, but this might be okay. It adds a little bit of crunch and it's got a slight peppery flavor, but I'm not sure how noticeable it'll end up being. All right, let's hit it with a little wild magic. Nine, truffle salt. All right, so adding some salt and a little bit of that hey. mushroomy hey. umami hey. flavor. Okay. Not sure how that's gonna work. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 15, Branston pickle. Well, so much for mild, non-competing flavors. This pickled chutney from the UK is definitely on the louder end of the flavor spectrum. Mm. And it's usually paired with similarly potent, yet complementary flavors like mm. sharp cheddar cheese. But today, it's falling off really we have fast. banana bread. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed oh, up boy. here. Oh boy. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. I'm worried oh. about the structural integrity of that oh. banana bread. And let's oh. go ahead and get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross-section. That bread's barely hanging on. Well, much like the USS Enterprise, our mission is to boldly go where no sandwich maker has gone before. Maybe I shouldn't have worn a red shirt. Let's give it a taste. Banana and pickles is not a great combination. This bread is also very crumbly, but turns into sort of a thick paste in your mouth when you start trying to chew it. It's definitely a one-on-one -on -one yeah. fight between the Branston and the banana. The other flavors, even the truffle, don't stand out that much. It's a weird one, that's for sure. I've definitely had worse, but I've also definitely had better. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one a four. And I'm yeah, going to call it fair. the split the party. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend. Yeah, the banana the bread, it was kind of doomed from the start. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the banana bread was Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, good. and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these multicolored glitter dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get things kicked off here with our roll for bread. One, banana bread. Not again. again. Ring, no. Ring, 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 banana bread. This is not going to go well, banana bread. All right, let's roll for our main. Hope it's better than last time. Seven, garlic bologna. I don't know if this is better than the chicken from Friday or not. I don't is know. Why garlic bologna? Even, I feel like regular would be fine. But there's also the garlic flavor to contend with now. All right, next up, let's roll for cheese. One, no cheese. cheese Dude, this poor no, guy. This might actually be a good thing this time. All right, let's roll for that roughage. Poor guy has been getting rolled on the cheese. Five capers and ten dandelion greens. The capers are the edible flower buds of the caper bush, which are often salted or pickled. They provide a salty and herbaceous flavor that I'd say is somewhat similar to an olive. They're very salty, so we're not gonna go too crazy with them. Dandelion greens are just that, exactly the dandelion plants that you see growing in your yard that we consider weeds here in the state. It's, they have a bitter and somewhat spicy flavor, similar to arugula. All right. My guy went outside and picked a leaf. All right, let's see how much wilder this one can get. I was literally going to make the joke that I think Ten I have some of those outside. Chips. Why did I open my big fat mouth? These Wait, what? Arugula. All right, let's see how much wilder this one can get. 
10 chocolate chips. Oh, no. Why did I open my big fat mouth? These semi-sweet chocolate chips are oh. a little bit bitter as well. So no. So bitter things going on so far. At least the chocolate will be okay with the banana bread. And last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Six, craft beer mustard. Oh, no. This is a no. delicious mustard made with beer. And as such, is also on the bitter side. Bitter definitely seems to be our flavor of the day. Not sure how this is all going to go together, but we'll see. Let's put our sandwich together. Oh, no. Let's get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. Oh, no. Let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, my luck with banana bread has not been great so far. Wonder how this one will be. Better or worse than Friday? We'll find out. Let's taste it. No shot. No shot's good. Oh, yep. Definitely, Poor guy. definitely bitter. And the sweet banana bread is not really counteracting it very well. Just oh, kind of no. getting bitter and sweet at the same time. This one at least seemed to hold together better. Yeah, this didn't really work. Though I'm not convinced that banana bread is a lost cause entirely. But for today's sandwich, we're gonna go with a 2.6. And I'm gonna call it the bitter banana. All right, Earl, here's your snack. Well, I hope you have a better Monday than I have. And if the little slider isn't here by then, I'll see you on Wednesday. He's called the, he just called his his newborn baby the little slider. <laughs> Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Getting right into it today with our Roll for Bread. Six grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, I was getting worried that we weren't going to roll this what? before the end of the season. Wait, wait, our Roll for Bread. Wait, wait, wait did I, I let fate decide Wait, did I lunch. just, like, Let's go. lose my sh What the f Wait, I skipped some? Good afternoon. Good, good I skip? afternoon, D Wait, I think I did. Good I think I scrolled by accident. Where the f were we? I think it's this one, right? Is it this one? Duel of Fates. I think it's the T1 for seven months. I appreciate it. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by the Folio Society. The Folio Society creates premium hardback, beautifully illustrated versions of your favorite books. These stunning special editions will be the highlight of your bookshelf and make great gifts for the book lover in your life. Check the link in my bio to browse their online catalog. All right, let's get things started with our roll for bread. Five, everything bagel. All we, right, nothing we didn't, like a good okay, everything this bagel. Isn't, we haven't seen Toast this one. up and ready to go. So far, so good. Next, let's okay. roll for Maine. Nine, pickle loaf. Salty, fatty, and a bit of acidic zing from the pickles. I'm game for pickle loaf today. I just hope we get cheese. All right, let's roll for that cheese. Three, Havarti. Havarti. a great roll here. Mild and creamy with Tom some Hardy notes. cheese goes hard. We'll be right at home here. Next up, let's roll for our roughage. That's four pickled green beans and eight onion. Green beans were a staple side vegetable in Pickled my house green up, beans. Sometimes from the can, sometimes fresh from the garden. I remember hearing stories about how my great-grandfather would eat his green beans with dill pickle You juice. get pickled and asparagus? Honestly, I, I like asparagus. These have a nice little snap of freshness to them and should be pretty consistent with our flavor profile so Would they be good? Next up, we've got some white onion. Left over from prepping some soups for once the baby gets here. I feel like onions go well with bagels, so this shouldn't present a problem. Next up, let's hit it with some wild magic. Things to consider. 11, Tony Satcheries. What's this that? Creole seasoning blend is pretty popular in the States. Oh. It's a blend of herbs and spices containing red pepper, black pepper, garlic, basil, and more. Last but not least, it's the looks kinda good. sauce roll. 18, we'll call it bee sauce. This sauce made in Carlsbad, California is an almond based dip or spread. The original flavor is savory and slightly spicy. It's vegan, dairy-free, and pretty dang tasty. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Is it, that sauce is awesome? Hold it together. I'm sad. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, from the outside, this one seems to be pretty cohesive, but there's only one way to find out. We've been missing Let's a lot recently on the list. I didn't get anything. Yeah, this is pretty good. There's nothing like the texture of a good bagel. The meat and cheese work well together. The Tony Sacheries and the sauce fit together pretty well. Oh, I think it's my spelled different? Here is the veg maybe, um, maybe I just... I spelled it the, the real way. 
Nope, still nothing. Veggies this time. They were good, just didn't blow me away. So I'm gonna give this one a 7.7. 7, and I'm gonna call it the Triple B. Thanks again to the Folio Society for sponsoring this episode. That looks and pretty if good. we're still on Baby Watch, right. I'll see you Friday. I wanna see this next one. D &D, TikTok and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Getting right into it today with our Roll for Bread. Six grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> All right, I was getting worried that we weren't gonna roll this before the end of the season. We've buttered our flat top and put down white bread and are topping it with some plastic cheese. A Why? A American cheese single. Why? Going really simple with these grilled cheese sandwiches, just getting them nice and heated up, getting that cheese nice and melted and the bread nice and crispy. All right, let's get them to the plate. Wait. There we Wait, the, the grilled cheese. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Two grilled cheese sandwiches betwixt which we will build a sandwich. All right, after all that, let's roll our main. Five, pepperoni. Definitely a strong start with the pepperoni. Let's keep it going. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Okay. Five, Swiss. Hey, look at oh. that. My Swiss actually has holes okay. this time. All right, next up, let's roll for some roughage. Two, radish, and nine, jardinera. Ooh. Okay, radish is an interesting choice. It'll I don't know about nice that. nice and crunchy, add a little bit of spice. I definitely don't see it hurting the sandwich. We'll see how much of a difference it makes. Jardinera is definitely a home run. Spicy pickled vegetables in oil with pepperoni. You really can't get much better than that. So far, this is going much better than I expected. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's hit it with some wild magic. Too good to me. Three fruit roll up. Oh, no. If you're not familiar with fruit roll ups. Oh, it's no. It's essentially candy. Basically, we have weird things in America that we classify as fruit snacks that somehow then end up being sold as healthier options than candy, but it's essentially candy. This oh, is just a piece of chewy sugar. No. So there's that, I it's guess. It's sold things to the five gifties. Well, sure, last buddy. but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 11, pesto. I mean, with the pepperoni and the jardinera, pesto is a pretty perfect roll. I guess oh, we'll just have to no. see how that strawberry fruit roll up impacts Oh, things. no. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. It was looking kind of good. to hold it together. Let's go ahead and get it cut in half. Struggling a little. And let's take a look at that cross section. Looks pretty good. Well, that was definitely a roller coaster. And we've ended up with a whole lot of sandwich here. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Yeah, this is pretty good. That fruit roll up is so thin, you barely notice it. The extra American cheese and bread, I think really cuts down on the spice of all the other ingredients. Brings it into balance pretty well. Seems the Dice Gods tried to ruin things a little bit with chaos there, but this time they didn't succeed. We'll go with a 9.5, and I'm gonna call it Sandwichception. Well, as you may have guessed, there's still no baby, but don't worry, Mrs. Sandwich is doing just fine. Maybe I'll see you Monday. Holy I don't. I don't know. I mean, I understand what he's saying though, and maybe because it was so much stuff, like the like there was so much in it you barely tasted it but that's actually insane so that was also the last one which means chat this was six hours ago oh never mind it was six hours ago never mind might be on he might be on hiatus for a little bit so we're all caught up we're all caught up okay you guys asked earlier i saw what is the total so far it is 11888